Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In our last video, we have seen what a workspace is, how we can create a workspace, what is my workspace. This is what we have seen in our last video. In this video, let's go and see how we can add our reports and dashboard to the workspace that we have created. So let's go to the Power BI Desktop and see how we can do that. So I'm into Power BI Desktop and this is a very simple Power BI report that we have created in Power BI Desktop. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to publish this report into my workspace that we have created in Power BI services. Okay, so this is a very simple report that I have created and now I want this report to be viewed on Power BI service in my workspace or in the workspace that we have created. So how to do that? So the very first thing that we have to do is just go and click on sign in. Okay. It will ask you for your email address. Just enter your email ID. So just remember that this should be your work or your education email ID. No personal email IDs as we discussed in our first video will work with your Power BI service, okay? So I have entered my uh, organization ID and I'll click on continue. Once I click on continue, what will happen here is it will ask me for my uh, account that I want to log in with. So I, am, I only have one account, so I will just click that particular account, update my password, So once I click on sign in, so you can see here, it has been logged in from my email ID. So you can see my email ID, you can go and view account, you can also go and view Power BI service. Now, I want to publish this report on Power BI service. So to do that, what I will have to do is click on publish. It will ask me to save the changes I have made to this particular report. Once I click on save, now you can see there are three options where I want to publish this report, whether I want to publish into my workspace, wherein I can view that report only to myself, or I will have to publish that on this particular workspace that we have created. So there are two workspaces. If you can see, one is a workspace which is named as test. The other one is your first Power BI report. So in which workspace you want to publish this report? So for now, let's go and publish it in first Power BI report. So before we do that, let's go to our workspace and see, do we have any reports into that particular workspace? So I am into Power BI service. Let me go to workspace and let me click on first Power BI report. So once I click on that particular workspace, you see it is giving me the name as first Power BI report and there are nothing in this particular workspace. Even if I go and see the other workspace that we have created, if I click on the test workspace, there are no reports that are there in that workspace. So let's do one thing. Let's go to our Power BI desktop and let's select first Power BI report and click on select it will take a time to publish this report and once the report is published, you will get a pop-up stating that your report is successful and it has been saved. So you can see this, it is showing me a success. Open first Power BI report by directly clicking on this link or what you can do is go to your, go to your space, refresh your Power BI service go to your workspace first power bi report and now you will be able to see that so you can see that your first power bi report is saved now you see there are two options this one is your report and this one is the data set or the data model that we are using for that we are using to create this report now let's click on the first power bi report and now you will be able to see the same Power BI report 
that we have created on Power BI Desktop, you will be able to see that on Power BI Service. Okay, so let me close this. Okay, so this is how it will look like. If I click on any one of the option, you can see that the numbers are getting changed. Okay. So now once you publish this report, you get various options to view this report. Now you have the option here as file, wherein you can save this report as a copy. You can download this file. You have manage permission option as well. If you want to print, you can print this. If you want to embed this report on SharePoint, wherein you can just provide a link and the other people will be able to use the SharePoint uh, through SharePoint. You can generate a QR code of this report and you also have a setting option. You also have an option which says export. You can export this into Excel, PowerPoint, PDF and whichever you want. Another option you can see here that is share. Now, if you want to share this report with some other people in your organization, you can do it. So how to do it? We will see that in our next video. And there are various options that you can see. You also have an option to say edit, wherein you can just click on edit and you will be able to, so you will be able to make any changes that you want and save it. Now note, if you make any changes on Power BI service, you won't be able to view these changes in Power BI Desktop. So the changes that you made will be limited to this particular Power BI service report only. It won't make any changes to your Power BI Desktop report. Okay, so that's how you can make any changes that you want into your Power BI service. Okay, so yes, uh, that's all about in today's video. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.